Hey guys, Kristen with Expert Credit Sweep. So I try to make videos that are actually going to help you. And this one is about four reasons that you are not getting results and how to fix it. Okay. So number one is of course going to be templates. Okay, you guys are using templates when you're not supposed to and I have two different scenarios, okay? Scenario number one is where 5,000, and this is just a number off the top of my head, people send out the same dispute letter or dispute letter series. Why would you do that, okay? Look at the other one. If one person sends out a unique dispute letter targeting the inaccuracies, the incompleteness, you know, the violations, all that kind of stuff, which one do you think is actually going to be better? Obviously, number two, method, okay? The method that you are using. So a consumer owes money for charge-offs, collections, etc., but disputes via identity theft. If you are not a victim of identity theft, don't do it okay i've heard of like numerous people going to jail for six months just because they did that so i mean if you've been a law-abiding citizen your entire life and now you're making false police reports you need to rethink what you're doing okay number two is online disputes what you don't realize what a lot of people don't realize is that you are giving up a lot of the sections under section um i believe it's 623 when you dispute where the bureaus don't have to notify you of the investigation results they don't have to forward anything to the creditors like Hello, you have rights and you're just making it easier for the bureaus to automate everything. So do not do online disputes. Okay, wrong dispute type 609 versus the VOD, 611 versus 623. You need to make sure that you understand what these things are actually for and how to use them, okay, before you actually just go and send a dispute. Okay, so dispute reasons. This one's important. I do have to look over here because my my camera has me like sitting over the text okay so blindly choosing reasons and a wild attempt to remove the account like you're not even looking at your credit report to determine if when you're saying that the you know balance or the date of last activity or you know the date of last payment is actually inaccurate you're just like oh yeah it's inaccurate they're not gonna be able to verify it like that's how i'm going to dispute don't do that okay so an incorrect assumption that that account is inaccurate so disputing a charge off with a balance because you assume that a charge off is supposed to have a zero balance hello if it's unpaid it's going to have a zero balance uh excuse me it's going to have a balance not a zero balance because you owe them money on the other hand if you pay it it's going to have a zero balance okay and then disputing a charge off with a balance higher than the limit because you assume that the balance is supposed to be lower than the limit no if you owe more money than you know whatever they set you at two hundred dollars five thousand twenty five thousand then the balance is going to be higher than the limit okay on the other hand if the balance is higher than the high balance then that is inaccurate and the account has to be removed because the high balance means it's the highest the balance has ever been on the account so obviously it has to be higher than the balance okay so dispute flow sending credit bureau disputes prior to sending out your third party you know vod disputes validation of debt even if it's a difference of a couple of days, and I'm not going to explain why in this video, but even if it's a difference of a couple of days, I normally say three weeks, send out your VOD disputes first. You will thank me for it. Okay, sending 623 original creditor disputes prior to sending out your credit bureau disputes. Don't do that. Dispute with the bureaus first, okay? You cannot take the creditor's to court if you did not dispute with the bureaus first and then sending new disputes prior to that 30-day window expiration okay make sure that there's 30 days in there you know how to count you could buy a calendar you can mark off you know when you send out your disputes like that's what dates on dispute letters are for like use your brain here okay don't do it all right so here's the solution so Break it down. Check out the best practices for disputing them individually instead of focusing on disputing them all as a whole. So don't just come up with one dispute letter and say, oh, this matches every single thing on here, unless it actually does. If you're disputing, you know, that all of these accounts are in violation because of one thing, make sure that that's actually true, okay? And then use logic. If you're using a new method that you, you know, you learn, don't automatically assume that it works. Do a small trial test run okay and then simplify you guys have seen my dispute letters versus all of the other dispute letters out there and all these stupid ass templates simplify okay take what you are trying to say 
and just say it, okay? You don't fight with your spouse and say, well, pursuant to, you know, section 15 of the, um, you know, the marriage code. Like, no, dude, you're like, hey, look, you know, I'm really pissed off at you because, you know, you didn't take out the garbage. Just use every, you know, everyday language, okay? And then if you need help, you can get a consultation. These links are going to be down in the description. Just go to the book online page at expertcreditsweeps.com. And the course is out. It is live. That's forward slash launch. And then I did come out starting today with a November holiday special. So if you would like to save hundreds of dollars, go check out forward slash special. And then of course, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe it. And I will see you guys either Wednesday or before that. Have a great weekend.